All right, next up we got Corvette ZR1, automatic, loaded, 139,000 MSRP. It's got the track pack, so the larger wing and aerodynamics. Against the stock Lamborghini Huracan, uh, 755 horsepower, supercharged V8, V10, 602 horsepower, all-wheel drive. I'm not sure about the weights. I'll look at them and put them in the specs, but I think it's going to be a pretty close race based what I've seen today, even though I think the Corvette on some good weather could definitely beat it no matter what. But it's pretty hot out of here today, and that's affecting maybe the supercharged cars a little more than naturally aspirated cars. Uh, so uh, it should be a good race. We'll do a, a dig race from a stop, launch control on both cars, and then we'll do a 40 mile an hour roll from to 40, about 150 miles an hour. So we got the cameras all loaded up. Let's get them, let's get them going. Yeah. All right.
from a dig. Huracan's just got too much. Launched really well off the line. Uh, and from a roll, we did a 40 to at least 150. And it was dead even, I think. The uh, Huracan maybe had a tiny more on the very top end, but either way, Corvette ZR1, 755 horsepower. Huracan, 610. Automatic transmission for dual clutch, weight differences, I don't know what it is, but out here today, dead even race in 40 to 150, and from a dig, the all-wheel drive of the Huracan just takes it on. So, uh, okay. there you go. Thanks to the racing channel right here for yeah. uh, hosting us. Great job, guys. Absolutely, good to have you and, here, man. Uh, All right, so I was pretty impressed with the Huracan. It, uh, I mean, it held its own against the ZR1 despite 150 horsepower less. Personally, I think the ZR1's a faster car in the right conditions. I think it was just super hot that day. The supercharger is just sucking out the power from uh, from the ZR1. Both cars, I think this was running high 10s, and the ZR1 and the V-Box is running low 11s. And uh, mile an hour is actually pretty similar that day, as you saw in the video. On the top end, it looked like the Huracan was starting to pull a tiny bit, but we ran out of room. At the back straight, you're pushing 150, 160 miles an hour. Uh, it gets pretty sketchy trying to slow the cars down at the end. Other news on the 4 GT over here, I am taking this to the dyno this week. So uh, we're gonna take it to the same dyno that we done on the 720S to get comparable dyno results of both cars. So really curious to see what the uh, 4GT puts down. We're just tripping around 600 miles, break-ins done. And uh, in the comments, go ahead and put what your guess is for the horsepower of the 4GT on the dyno. And uh, guess away and I'll give away a free t-shirt to the person who comes the closest. And uh, we're going to put that video up probably towards the end of the week. I'm um, hoping to hit the dyno this week. Maybe we'll put the video up by Friday or earlier next week. Assuming we get on the dyno this week. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to see these upcoming videos, which all roll right now. Thanks a lot.